So there's snow outside right now, and I don't know how I feel about that yet. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, A Reading Warrior. We are all reading warriors together, especially now that Disney Plus has come out. Yes, that is right. Disney Plus is now out, and it has put me in a reading slump because I am now watching all the shows that my parents wouldn't let me watch that were Disney on Disney Plus, as well as all the old classics that I used to borrow from my aunt and uncles when they had them on VHS. I know VHS so long ago, but what can I say? I am currently kind of in a reading slump. I'm really trying to get myself out of it, and like there are many different reasons why, like Disney Plus coming out being one of them, and my family having a year free of it, and then my brother is gonna pay for it after that, so like, huh, we'll see. Uh, obviously another reason is school, midterms. I've had a paper due in every single class that I'm in, so for all four classes I've had papers due for all of them, and so that has taken up a lot of my time, and I mean, stuff. But I am very close to finishing my Goodreads goal the year, which I really want to try and finish, and I believe I need like six or seven more books in order to do that, and I have a plan for how I'm going to do that, and that's what this video is all about, is my TBR until the end of the year-ish, hopefully, and then I can complete my goal. Yay! I think my goal was like, I think it was 50 books, but that's because I joined Goodreads like halfway through the year, so next year my goal is going to be like the average 100 books, um, but I just didn't have a full year this year because I didn't know what was going on, apparently. I don't know. So let's get started with the first book. First off, I am reading The Grim Grotto, which is one of the series of Unfortunate Event books. It is book number 11, so I've got 11, 12, and 13, so I've got this one and two more books to go before I finally finish the series. I know I've been reading the series for forever, but I've also been reading other books and just been doing other things, and like, now that it's winter and there is snow outside, because of course Minnesota has snow, like, yeah, of course it does. Hopefully I can actually sit inside and instead of watching TV, read. Or maybe do homework, but probably hopefully read. Um, I'm about one third of the way through this book and so far I've been like enjoying the series. I more so feel like, I mean we're getting some answers but not enough answers and the plot outside of getting answers it's kind of at a low point for me, like the slippery slope, I was like, eh. But I also just don't like books with cold settings. I know that's really weird. I will still read them and I still might like them, but I will not enjoy them near as much if like the author makes it a point that it's consistently cold, because I just don't like picturing cold places. I know, I'm in Minnesota. I know, but that's why I stay inside with hot chocolate and read all day. Seriously. Seriously. So my goal is to finish this one and then the last two, so that'll put me at the three books. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get them done in November because I don't, I, I've been having a hard time finding these in the school library. Um, I'm actually having to go somewhere far away just to get this copy of this one. So it might just be a December thing, like when I'm back home and I know where they are in my own library that I grew up with. But, so that'll take care of, hopefully, three of the books. The next are two books that I brought with me to college in the first place. Like, they were part of my initial, these are the seven books that I brought to college, and I've read all but two of them, and so those are obviously going to be next on my list. And so the first one is Everything Everything, Nicola Yoon. Um, I am reading this book because I don't read a lot of contemporary. I feel like November is the time to read contemporary, because, like, fall you're kind of getting into like the next steps of life but we're kind of at the end of fall so like I don't know but I always feel like contemporary are always set in the summertime so hopefully it will like give me some relief from this cold winter that we're about to experience um I don't read a lot of contemporary I never really have but I figured you know I should at least give it a try so I chose everything everything to be my try because I know a lot of people like it so hopefully if a lot of people like it I will too, but we'll see about that, but hopefully. And it's not too long, so like, I can read it while still here at school. Um, I only have two exams this semester, thank goodness. Um, so 
you know, maybe I'll read this like on the bus ride home or at some point. I don't, I don't even know, but I'm going to find the time to read these books, I promise. So that'll be the fourth book to get me towards my goal. Next one is Scythe by Neil Shusterman. I wanted to read this one in October around Halloween, so after Spookathon, but like still around Halloween. But um, that just didn't happen because that's when midterms really started to kick in. And it was kind of a bummer. But <laughs> I still think that this will be a fun like read because really any like dystopian, utopian sci-fi, I just, I will read those at any point in the year. I always love them. Um, so I, but I have to read this before I go home because I have the sequel at home and I know like that I'm going to want to read it immediately afterwards or at least I'm predicting that I'm going to want to read it immediately afterwards so I would just maybe I'll end up reading this one on the bus it's a long bus ride guys like it's a 13 hour bus ride I am actually going to have time to read books on there as long as I don't get car sick sometimes I do sometimes I don't you know oh well we'll see I want to read this book book number five right here now the next book that I'm going to read, I don't have the physical copy of it with me because I'm either going to get it as an audiobook or as a physical book. I am put on hold for the copy of the book at the library for both the audio and the ebook for it. So whichever one comes first is how I'm going to end up reading it. And that book is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I'm reading this one actually because it is the book club. There's a book club here at my UMN campus and that's the book we're reading for the next month so obviously I'm gonna read it. Book number six. I'm excited to read it, I'm intrigued to read it, but I don't know. Like I voted positively for it but I know I voted for other books more but we'll see. I'm open-ended. I don't even know how to describe the book because there wasn't really much of a description. So, plus I also don't like looking up descriptions of books that I don't already know what they're about because I don't want spoilers and I know not all book reviews or all books have spoilers in their descriptions, but even some things, like if something happens halfway through the book and it's not a spoiler, but like you don't know about it from the beginning, I don't like reading about that beforehand. So I don't know what that book is about, but it's our book group book, so I'm gonna have to either read it or listen to it anyway. I feel like winter time is the perfect time for me to read because I don't want to go outside because it's cold and it's snowy and wind and ice. I don't want to slip and fall. So I always end up being indoors a lot more during the winter than any other season, um, which would make it perfect time for reading because then I'm not out doing things. And I love the aesthetic kind of picture of like sitting by the window next to my bed and looking at, you know, the ice on the river, because yes, I have a view of the Mississippi River from my window, um, and just kind of reading a book all huddled in my blankets with a stuffed animal and my hot chocolate, which I have still. Yay. Um, but it's also the most dangerous time for me to fall into um, Netflix binges or Disney Plus binges or Hulu binges. Um, so I'm going to be fighting a reading slump, and I already have been for a while, but that was mostly because of school, and now it's turning into Disney+. Plus. So I want to know what your guys' tips are for getting through a reading slump. Um, I like to try and set goals of reading a certain amount of chapters or pages just to try and like get me into it. Also, if I'm reading a book that I'm not super excited about, and I'm starting a reading slump, then I need to change the book. I need to read something else. I don't necessarily put the book down forever, but just until I feel like all oh, reading is the best thing in the world again, which I totally think it is, but I don't have that opinion 24-7. Um, because I also like sleep. But <laughs> after a reading slump, I need to read something that's actually exciting and intriguing to me. I also do a lot of reading for classes, so a lot of times it'll be like, oh, I've done so much reading and it was all boring. I just want to take a break and I want to do something different which can be really hard, especially since there are so many great books in the world. But yeah, so I wanna know about your guys' tips and I will be coming up with ideas of my own to try and get through this because books are great. Yeah. Another completely sidetrack. So I live very close to 
the bookstore. And I don't just mean like textbooks and um, my university's like clothes and gear and stuff like I do, but they also have this huge section on general books. And I have bought books and I really should not have because I'm trying to save money here because I'm going to be renting a house next year. So like I need money and yet I keep spending it on books and it's not a great idea. But so I have a whole another thing for you guys to follow too. Also, I am trying to branch out my reading genres because I do read a lot of fantasy and sci-fi, but I really want to branch out from that because I know that there are other books that are really good. Well, no. I read a lot of sci-fi and like dystopian and just kind of whatever's popular, so I'm really trying to branch out of that and I've tried doing that a little bit with Spookathon and so that'll kind of be a theme in my upcoming videos is like exploring different genres and trying different books and seeing what I actually like and what I've been ignoring and why I'm ignoring it and things like that. Um, so stay tuned if you're curious about different genres like I am or if you also want to like broaden your horizon about the books you like to read. Um, I know that there are genres that I know I would love and that I should read. I'm just not and I'm not honestly 100% sure why that is but yeah so that'll be kind of a theme coming up in the next couple of videos um so stay tuned I might have another haul video with all the books I bought in college bad idea don't follow my example but I'm gonna take advantage of it and make a video um I'm also gonna do some experimenting with like journaling about uh reading books and just kind of doing like a bullet journal book thing so if you're interested in that click the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you get the notification when I do upload that video. Um, also, um, feel free to leave a comment down below so that I can get your feedback on what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see more of, if you like the ideas that I have of upcoming videos. If you have a certain genre that you're like, I want to talk about books in this genre with people or I want to hear your opinion or like no one on booktube reads this genre will you try it like yeah I'll totally do that just comment down below so that I know what it is um, also feel free to follow me on social media um, my I keep up to date with Goodreads pretty well my Instagram sometimes isn't working <laughs> like I'll open it and the app will just completely freeze um, so I'm doing my best to figure that out but also, just feel free to like look more in depth in my reviews there. Um, otherwise, follow me on Twitter. I'm actually starting to use the Twitter now, so I mean, hey, why not, right? It's Twitter. Um, and yeah, have a great Thanksgiving break. Hopefully, I will when I go home, I will exchange some of these books out um, for new ones for Thanksgiving. So that'll be exciting. And yeah, have a great day, afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is for you, but happy reading! Hot chocolate is really good, okay? It's like the best thing for winter other than books and blankets and stuffed animals and cats.